Hey guys, how you doing? Instructional Assistant Steve here coming at you again with uh, what the heck is Steve talking about? Uh, today we are going over Lab Vault Exercise 27 for Bill O'Neill's 401B class. And this chapter covers separately excited direct current shunt generators. Okay, so let's get this thing uh, wired up. So what I've got here is uh, the trainers wired up uh, as they show us in uh, exercise 27. And uh, I made a couple of preliminary adjustments. And, and so really we're starting on line 10. Uh, they're asking us to take some voltage output readings from our DC uh, generator and then some uh, shunt field current readings from that same generator. Uh, so let's fire this thing up and see what happens. So really on, on line 10, uh, it's asking for an output voltage uh, without any excitation. Uh, and I'm recording 10.4 volts on my meter. So I'm gonna document that. And it's asking for the field current. So let's measure that. I mean, we're gonna call that 0.008. Okay, so what it's telling us next on line 11 is to increase the excitation voltage here uh, to get a reading here of 80 volts. Once we do that, we're going to check our field current again. So here we go. So now that I'm reading 80 volts here, that's what's uh, being output now from our DC generator, uh, we're going to read and see what the current is over here. And I'm reading 0.170 or 170 milliamps. That was line 11. Now we're moving on to line 12 where it's asking us to increase the output voltage of our generator to 100 volts. So let's crank this up a little more. And yet again, it wants us to read the uh, shunt field current. So let's do that. And I'm reading uh, 0.218 or 218 milliamps. Okay, and then moving on to number 13, it wants us to increase the output of our generator to 120 volts. So let's excite that a little bit more. And we're gonna check our field current yet again. And I'm reading that as 0.218. 271 amps or 271 milliamps however you want to however you want to call it so next what they're going to do is ask us to add a resistive load to the circuit so I'm going to change these um, switches according to what they're asking on the next page, which is page 229. And uh, I'm going to set up these resistances and take some readings and fill this chart out for you so you can fill out this graph here. So let's get that started. Okay, so I've got all the, uh, the readings for the uh, chart on page 229, uh, and that should allow you to fill out the graph. And of course, I'll post this page in the video, uh, but you're gonna take the uh, output voltage and uh, output current from our DC generator at these different settings, and you're gonna plot them on this graph, and it's gonna show you the characteristics of this generator. So that should wrap up uh, this lab. Once again, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to uh, another episode of What the Heck is Steve Talking About? If you have any questions, 
uh, just look at my email, uh, be down below, you can get a hold of me, or as always, get a hold of your instructor, Bill O'Neill. Okay, so thanks for watching. <laughs>